Consumers around the world are becoming more and more involved in, and concerned about the safety of the food supply. They're becoming better educated, and that is good, because the consequences in terms of public health and disease are considerable. Consumers are getting their information through consumer organizations, but also through the internet. And the food industry is responding very positively because the food industry realizes that safe food is good business. Government is also very supportive because it is critically important that the food supply be as safe as possible. With respect to the importation and exportation of foods, this is, food safety is also of great importance. So the consumer plays a considerable role. Of course, we all have a responsibility because we're all consumers. And so the more knowledge you as a consumer can acquire in terms of when you buy your food in the supermarket, how you handle it in the home, how you prepare it, can have a very significant effect on your health and on the health of your family. The food industry is responding very positively to uh, consumer concerns, whether it be in terms of uh, the amount of salt, the amount of sugar, the amount of fat in the food, but also the safety of the food from contamination, from pathogenic microorganisms. We see now articles in the newspaper which outline that people suffer from food poisoning due to E. coli, salmonella, and a number of other pathogenic microorganisms. So the handling of food from the time it leaves the farm until it arrives in your plate, in your home, goes through a lot of checks and double checks to assure that the food is safe. The more engagement that the consumer can have with the food industry and with government, in terms of bringing in new regulations to ensure even a better and a safer food supply is to be encouraged. And so consumer input is now sought and is valued as being very important as part of the process of making the national food supply safer.